Welcome to Intermediate Shell. My name is Susan Sun, and I do data work. I'm looking forward to learning with you in this course. In data, many of us bypass the command line in favor of GUI interfaces like Anaconda and RStudio, because that's what we are familiar with. However, taking the time to learn data science on the command line is a great long-term investment that will ultimately make us better and more productive data people. In this course, we take a practical approach and learn command line tools useful for everyday data processing and analyses. First, let's learn how to download data files using curl. Curl, short for Client for URLs, is a Unix command line tool for transferring data to and from a server. It is often used to download data from HTTP sites and FTP servers. To check if curl has been properly installed, type the following in the command line, man curl. If curl has not been installed, you will see curl command not found. To install curl, follow this link. If curl is installed, your console will look like this. Keep pressing enter to scroll through the curl manual. To exit and return to your console, press Q. The basic syntax for curl has the following structure. curl option flags URL. The URL is required for the command to run successfully. curl supports a large number of protocol calls. For a full list, use curl dash dash help. Let's download a single file stored at this hypothetical URL using curl. To save the file with its original name, data file name.txt, use the option flag dash uppercase O. This reads curl dash uppercase O followed by the file URL location. To save the file under a different name, replace dash uppercase O with dash lowercase O and the new file name. Now it reads curl dash lowercase O followed by the new file name and the file URL location. Oftentimes, a server will host multiple data files with similar file names, like this. Instead of curling each file individually, we can use wildcards to download all the files at once. To download every file hosted on the server that starts with data file name and ends in .txt, we use curl uppercase O HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash website name dot com forward slash data file name asterisks dot txt. Another option is to increment using a globbing parser. The following will download every file sequentially, starting with data file name 001 dot txt and ending with data file name 100 dot txt. Note the end of the command that reads square bracket 001 dash 100 close square bracket dot txt. That's the globbing at work. We can increment through the files and download every nth file. For example, to download every 10th file, we can modify the globbing parser to read open square bracket 001 dash 100 colon 10 close square bracket dot txt. Sometimes internet can time out. To make sure that our download progress is not lost, curl has these two flags. Dash uppercase L redirects the HTTP URL if a 300 error code occurs. Dash uppercase C resumes a previous file transfer if it times out before completion. Putting everything together, note that all option flags come before the URL but the order of the flags does not matter. 